We've made two changes to the electrical system. First of all, we've installed a new charging inverter. So we have a unique way that we charge off the Ford alternator. We take power off the CCP2 connection, up to 150 amps at 12 volts. We convert that to 120 volts using our what we call our charging inverter. And then we then convert that back to 20 volts and charge the batteries using the Victron uh, inverter charger. Uh, we've increased this charging inverter from 2200 watts to 3000 watts. The reason we did that was just to have a little bit more headroom and a little uh, so we're not running it over always on the edge of its capability and it will produce a little lot less heat in our electrical box and we think will be a little bit more reliable over time. Let's give you a detailed overview of our electrical system. This is kind of the heart of the ANRV. First of all, I want to point out that we use primarily Victron energy equipment. We really like them. It's high quality and also it has open systems, so it's really great for us. Brains of the system here is the Servo GX. That's the main controller where it takes information in from the other devices and allows us to monitor and display that information. Here is the Victron charger inverter. This is a 24 volt uh, system. Um, this both inverts power from the 24 volt batteries into 120 volts so you can use your regular appliances as well as a charger for the battery system when we're charging off solar and from the uh, transit alternator. Down here, as I mentioned, it's a 24 volt system so this is a 24 volt bus bar and an additional fuses here. We run most everything off 12 volt with a step down and there you can actually turn the 12 volt off with this switch here. But we primarily run at 24 volt native, so you don't need the inverter or the step down running, our refrigerator and our water pump. And then you also see the Victron MPPT solar controller and a solar disconnect switch. And in addition here on the switch side, we have a 12 volt tank heater that heats the uh, gray water tank in the winter and you can just turn that on and that's self-regulated in the winter if you're worried about the gray tank freezing. Here is the main breaker for the 124 volt side. It's 120 volt side. It's a 50 amp breaker panel and then you can see the various breakers here.